growth rate and growth factor. I've seen many times students get confused between the two terms. Like, what is the difference between growth rate and growth factor? For that matter, also decay rate or decay factor, okay? In any exponential function, they are getting every time multiplied by a factor. So when you multiply two terms or two numbers, those two numbers are called factors and the result is always a product. Okay, now remember that. So, factor is something which you multiply with. Okay, and rate. Rate is like taken as a percent. Like interest rate is that much, increasing rate is that much, depreciation rate is that much. So, rate is as a percent. So, if you keep that in mind, then you'll always answer this question correctly. And there won't be any confusion between the two terms, rate and factor when it comes to exponential equations, okay? So let's take two examples here. Uh, one says that in the exponential model, m of n equals to 24, 1 plus 0 0.05 to the power of n. The growth factor is, in this equation, what is the growth factor? So the growth factor is the whole term, this, which is getting multiplied with 24, right? This whole thing, 1.0.05. So the growth factor here is 1 plus 0 0.05, which is 1.05, correct? So it is by this factor to the power of n, it gets multiplied by, right? Do you understand? So the growth factor is this. And what is the growth rate? Growth rate is 0 0.05, which in percent should be written here. And 0 0.05 can be written as 5%. So, growth rate is always given in percent and that term 0 0.05 signifies the growth rate. Do you understand? So, the growth rate is 5%. 5% 5 by 5 over 100 is equals to 0 0.05. Do you get it? That is how we get growth factor and growth rate from the exponential equation. Let's consider another one and here we see in the exponential model p of n equals to 100 within bracket 0 0.85 to the power of n. Now this number you're getting multiplied by is much lesser than 1, right? It's lesser than 1, correct? So here if you see the graph it will be exponentially decaying, correct? In this case it was exponential growth so it was the term was growth factor here because every time you're multiplying by a number which is less than one so you get a lesser and lesser number right so therefore we talk about terms like growth instead of growth we talk like decay factor and decay rate okay and now can you tell me what is the decay factor here decay factor is the term inside right which is 0.85 so it decays by this power every time right 0.85 to the power of n right now what is the decay rate to find the decay rate we need to split it like this correct so i can write 0.85 equals to 1 minus what let's say 1 minus x right then what is x equals to which implies x is equals to We'll take x here and 0 0.81 minus 0 0.85, right? Now, this gives us x is equal to 0 0.15, correct? And normally, rate is given in percent. So, you will write this as 15%. Just as we wrote 5% there, it is 15%. Therefore, the decay rate is 15%. And the decay factor is 0 0.85 in this particular model, right? I hope you understand. Just remember one thing. Whenever you have to write the rate, give it in percent, right? And factor the whole term in the bracket, right? By which you are multiplying. So that becomes the factor, okay? I hope that's clear to you and you will not or never make this mistake again. Thank you.